way to kick off the weekend. Reporter Joanne Dixon and I headed up the road to Taylorsville. We're so excited to be here, but I'm even more thrilled that I have a great co-host this morning, Evan McKinney. Evan, you know everything there is to know about Taylorsville, including what I would say is the shining gem. Oh yeah, of course, we definitely have an asset here in Spencer County. We have a lake, it's 3,050 surface acres. 12,000 acres of land and it offers opportunities from horseback riding to fishing to boating to hunting to just enjoying nature. But we're going to show you so much more about Taylorsville as well. We're really going to explore, I mean, everything from Main Street again to the lake. But let's start here, Evan. I mean, you were born and raised here in Taylorsville, but you're also a member of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. So explain your role there in addition to being co-host of Great Day Live for the oh, day. Oh, yeah, of course. Well, I'm the project manager here at Taylorsville Lake, of course. Taylorsville Lake, its primary mission is flood control. And so our job on a day-to-day -day basis is operating the dam, making sure that uh, we're operating safely and uh, you know under specific regulations. And so we gotta operate that, but of course we work with our management partners around the lake to provide those recreational opportunities. So we have the Kentucky State Park System, Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife, the Marina, Edgewater Resort. We all uh, kind of work together to use this place as an get away from people. I mean, I have to say that's probably one of the things that was most surprising to me was the education of that because I think Taylorsville and recreation and families, great date places, wonderful place for some some solitude, but I mean project management yeah. of, of the dam. I mean there's a real side to this that's to protect us in lots of ways. Oh yes, uh, flood control. I mean this, the government authorized this project to protect you know, family and life downstream on the Salt River. So back in the day, of course, Taylorsville, Shepherdsville, all the way to West Point, you know, you know, saw flooding. And so that was the government's way to protect people, even though they, they had to take some land. I mean, this lake serves its purpose and it, uh, we see benefits to it every year as we operate safely and in accordance with our regulations. So. Well, thanks to people like you, then the rest of us can just come and enjoy. So let's talk about that aspect of okay. it because you get an opportunity. I mean, this really is a place, especially because we all know what's going on. This offers us some reprieve. I mean, there was a moment when I was just overlooking the lake before I got an opportunity to meet you and I was just entranced. I mean, with the trees and the grass and the wildlife and the birds and, and the lake, I mean, it just really really took my breath away. Oh, of course. That's uh, that's one of the things that I respect most about this project is, you know, I have the opportunity. I'm in an office setting a lot now as a manager, but I have the opportunity to step outside and just kind of get away and, you know, release from all this background noise that, that's going on across the world right now. And uh, I enjoy seeing others doing the same, you know, whether it be reading a book or whatever. So. I, I was going to say, do you hear that? It's pretty much nothing. And it's really, really it's nice to be able to hear that. Now, Joanne Dixon, who's our reporter, is going to be hopping from place to place throughout the morning. And I will definitely help to discover, but you and I are going to stick together for the most part. If you had something to say to our audience members who are out there right now who are going, you know what? I didn't have any plans this weekend. Taylorsville, I mean, it's and it's such a beautiful drive. I came from Indiana. Oh, yeah. Joanne came from Louisville. I mean, what's one thing you would say, Evan, to entice them? Come on out. Well, the, the one thing about it is this project is centrally located between Louisville and Lexington. I mean, we're basically in the center of two-thirds of Kentucky's population. And so we have this here pretty much free of charge, you know. If, if you wanted to rent a cabin at Edgewater or maybe rent a pontoon boat at, at the marina, that's a cost. But uh, these facilities here are free to use for the public. I mean, and it's even on a hot day, we have two and a half miles of trails here that is is a great opportunity for families and small children. So they're, Absolutely. they're manicured and uh, there's always a place to, to find shade or just, just to get away and enjoy the peacefulness. For sure. Well, stick around because Evan and I are going to help you discover Taylorsville this morning on Great Day Live.